Hey everybody, this is Seth from Coming Out Tarot. It's time for your Raw Tarot Scopes for, what is it, January? The January New Moon. And what is Raw Tarot Scopes? It's a time for you to reflect, take some action, and get to work. The point is to take this information and work with the energy of the New Moon, which is renewal, starting over. It's a great time to set intentions and use these intentions to achieve the goals that you're trying to achieve. And uh, in spaces where I chat in and out with people about what's going on in the, in the world and the energy that we're feeling, there's a great guy in there named uh, Alejandro who is an astrologer and he shared that this new moon in Aquarius is the collective, the people. It can mean being more social with others, being able to speak on behalf of others or to break the ice with loved ones. And uh, inclusive of that, I have the cards that I pull are bringing a similar kind of energy. So I love it when astrologers have one thing to share about what's going on and my cards are like connecting into the same thing. And we're all just kind of on this, this wavelength of the energy that's going on in the world and that we're all kind of experiencing together. So similarly, of the cards that I'm pulled, uh, I look at the majors that come up when I pull these for each sign, and I'm seeing that this new new moon is bringing a journey into self, and the collective is going to impact the self. So similar to him talking about how these relationships might open up opportunities to have better conversations and be informed by those that you love the most and inform those that you love the most. Similarly, this is going to bring a journey into self because it's going to go deeper. And that impact of community is going to spark that self-discovery thing. So Aquarius is asking you to engage and then look deeper, go further, and continue to grow yourself. And I think of this like self-discovery. So when you're on a self-discovery journey, and I think a lot of us have been on one <laughs> during the pandemic, and as we're coming seemingly out of it, uh, self-discovery is not an easy road. It's hard. It's challenging. It's bumpy. It's confusing. It's frustrating. It feels like you should be over it already, but it takes those those bumps because you're learning something new you're you're discovering something new about yourself and the world around you and how you move through it uh, it's kind of like learning to ride a bike you're not going to do it quick it's going to take a minute you might need someone to help you you may need a little training wheels but then eventually you figure it out next thing you know you're trying to learn how to drive a car <laughs> it's a whole nother experience someone's trying to guide you someone's trying to hold you things are a little bumpy you might make the wrong turn here or there uh, but eventually you get the hang of it. So that's that's kind of the energy of this this new moon and the, the next cycle uh, as we come into the next new moon in uh, February. So for each sign, what does that mean? What kind of intention might you want to set? And I send this out in a newsletter, but I wanted to also share the, the shorter version of it here. So if you want to see more, you can get more on comingouttarot.com. There's a little more insight beyond just the intention that you'll hear here here. And uh, if you're on Patreon, you can get the full shebang, which is the intention, what it's about, how you deal with it, if there's any shadow work to pay attention to, and if there's any other connections to other signs that you might need to also um, either seek out or be aware of. So you can get a lot more over there. So today, Aries, pay attention to the Nine of Wands. This is the intention to protect yourself. Taurus, Seven of Swords. This is uh, a recommendation to intend to share what you know, but at the right time, not just blurting everything out. <laughs> Gemini, we've got the Five of Cups, and this is intend to sit with your emotions. Gemini, I think this will be an easy one for you. you go deep in it. Go deep in it. <laughs> Cancer, we got the king of swords. We got this, this sexy zaddy going on here. Um, intend to shine brightly, Cancer, which isn't always easy. It's easier to scuttle into a little, little uh, wallflower, but if you do what you do, you will shine brightly. Leo, we got the five of pentacles. You might want to intend to step away from those you know who could do you harm. There's a lot of layers in that. There's a lot more going on uh, on the website and over on Patreon. Virgo, we got the Empress. The Empress, isn't she beautiful? The Empress is here to recommend that you intend to share what you have. It's pretty easy to hang on to it. Might be harder to let it go. 
And Libra, we've got the Hermit. Intend to take time for yourself. This is kind of a became a, a simple one. Uh, Scorpio, we got the Six of Pentacles. Intend that you have something to give. This uh, something challenging, I think, for Scorpio, who's really great at finding insight and digging into what's going on with other people. Now it's time to to share share what you got, kind of like Virgo. Sagittarius, we've got the three of wands. We want you to intend to take action, Sag. Should be an easy one for you. The the um, additional information that's coming with this over on Patreon will give you a little more guidance about what that means because you could intend to take off and do anything. <laughs> uh, Capricorn, we've got the Ten of Swords. Intend that you can move beyond what's holding you down or back. Uh, sometimes this is just you, Cap, uh, but there's a little more to that over on Patreon too. Aquarius, we've got the Four of Cups. We're going to intend to find comfort in not knowing the answer. It's your season. You may feel like you're going to discover everything and explore everything, but sometimes you don't need to know everything you're trying to discover. And Pisces, Six of Cups. We're going to intend that ancestral wisdom is supporting you. It's got a little woo there for, for a second, but it can be powerful, Pisces, especially for the connections that you're able to make that not every sign can make. Uh, that's going to be uh, some, in, some intense energy for you, and I, I wish you the best in it. All right, that is your raw telescopes for the new moon, which happened on Sunday in the late afternoon on the 21st. Get started working with these intentions. Let me know how it goes. I'd love to know what you think in the comments. And again, if you want to know more, check out comingouttarot.com. There's a little more to the what the intention is. And you can get even more detail over on patreon.com slash comingouttarot, where not only do you get the, um, the intention, but you also get the explanation of the intention. You get the how to do the thing. You get the shadow work that might be involved. And you also get connections to other signs that are going to engage with you during this period or that you might want to engage with. So check out all those places to get more. And don't forget to tell me how it's going down there in the comments. Thanks. See ya.